Hey everyone, Morgan here. So today I have a review of a Don't Die in the Woods emergency sleeping bag. I'm really excited to try this out. So what we're going to be doing is, um, it's, it's I'm looking at the temperature gauge here. It says it's about 43 degrees outside. So what we're doing is I'm going outside like this because what an emergency blanket is supposed to do, this is like very typical emergency blankets. However, what's special about this is that it actually has a hood section actually goes around your head it's compact reusable uh, it says that it's waterproof and windproof and reflects up to 95 percent of your body heat it fits one adult so this is actually supposed to be a little bit bigger one and it weighs only 4.5 ounces this even with this container it is a very lightweight and I really love that it comes in this nice little container here. So um, this does say that it's waterproof and, and windproof and stuff like that. And that's what basic um, emergency blankets usually are. They're, they are windproof. They're really great for emergency shelters, things like that. Um, we're going to look at the thickness of this. We're going to look at um, just a bunch of different stuff with this. Right now it is also raining a little bit. So we're going to be testing not only cold, but the rain. Um, okay, so as we take it out of this, it comes in this little nice... Uh, bag, which is what you would want to do. You know, you wouldn't want to carry this in a bag or anything, but it comes in this nice little bag. We're also going to be testing how easy it is to get it back in the bag. Cause as you know, with anything with, especially like this, it's impossible to get things back into the bag the way that they came out. So, uh, let's actually go, uh, check this out. Um, very first, before we go, uh, first of all, I love the outside color green, of course, my favorite. Um, what we're going to do is, uh, explain a little bit about how emergency blanket works. I know you just want me to get to the test and if you want to skip forward, that's fine. But the way that an emergency blanket works is that it actually reflects your own body heat. This inner part here reflects your own body heat. So we're going to go out just like this so that it has a better uh, opportunity to reflect more of my body heat. Okay. Um, so I'm not wearing a big jacket jacket that is holding my body heat in, I'm actually giving it the opportunity to work, to reflect my own body heat back at myself, to warm myself. That's how an emergency blanket works. And it's not supposed to keep you cozy, super warm. It's supposed to keep you alive and it's supposed to keep you comfortable. Okay. Not super cozy, warm, you know, but this could be used as um, sort of like a base layer in another sleeping bag, stuff like that. So let's actually go check this out. Okay, so this thing is giant. I mean, this is, it seems a lot bigger than normal ones. Uh, it's from here all the way over there. I mean, it's huge. Look, I mean, I know you can't really tell, but anyway, it's big and it has this nice little hood part. So let's kind of see how this all works. I'm getting cold, let's get inside. Come inside with me. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, this hood makes a huge, huge difference, like huge difference. And I'll show you guys here in just a second, but this is making a huge difference. Even, I, I even have it open a little bit and I'm feeling it is reflecting my heat back at me so good. I'm already feeling actually pretty warm. And this hood, I'm telling you, it makes a huge difference. I'll show you. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let me get this in here. Oh, I am so impressed with this so far. I can't tell you how much I love this hood. And it is immediately reflecting the heat back. I'm not even joking. Like, I was just outside setting up the camera to, to get this view, and I was like super cold. But now I'm like warming up, I'm feeling okay. And, you know, I, I can get my face in and I'm going to feel nice and toasty warm, you know, with my whole full body in it. So, bye-bye. I'm telling you, when you expose yourself to the elements outside of this, it is a huge difference. Am I like super, super warm? No, but I can instantly feel the reflecting of my own body heat in, on, in this bag. What's, what's really important with these is that you do want some sort of layer between you and the ground. So if you are going to use this 
for um, you know like a main sleeping bag or something you really do want to get you know as much layer between you and the ground as possible um, you know so that you can make sure uh, you're staying warm in here because you know even if you're you know I can tell my feet are a little bit colder because they're directly pressed against the ground right now but the rest of my body's feeling okay you know I'm not shivering I'm not cold my face is cold because it's out but you know my hand my hand right there is cold there we go let's actually bundle up <laughs> there we go oh man that hood though makes a huge difference you know you can bundle yourself up like this Covering up all the holes and everything just makes a huge difference. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Now, now we just need Arthur. Yep. <laughs> it's on video. Just leave it. Let all right. Them in. <laughs> okay. So the two kids and adult. Yeah, we close it up just like Ember just did. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Might be. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> We're nice and toasty warm in here now. Woo, these three body heats. Yeah. <laughs> Feeling good. <laughs> I see you. All right. Husband's gonna get in. This is the test because husband's taller than me. I'm like five foot three, he's closer to six feet. So. If he's fitting good in here with the hood and everything, look at him. I fit perfect. Look, look at this. Look at that. If I was laying to... <laughs> Yeah, it's got the hood. You feeling warm? Here, close it up. <laughs> you can stand. <laughs> You're going to feel a little cold because it's going to be on the cold, bare ground. <laughs> <laughs> so just like with any emergency blanket if you do lay on the ground like this you are going to want some sort of layer between you and the ground because you do definitely feel the cold on your body so you do want some sort of layer or you can use this as an inside layer for your sleeping bag something like that you know we have to be realistic about what these emergency sleeping bags are going to do but this this is durable. I mean, look at how we've been getting in and out of it. It hasn't ripped, it hasn't torn, it hasn't done anything. So these are really, this this one in particular, this Don't Die in the Woods, the emergency blanket is really durable. How you feeling in there? All right. Go ahead. I yeah. was gonna say, other than the ground being super, super cold, I was warm. Honestly, like my body heat, my body heat and my breath and everything. Like I felt snugly, except for my side that was laid on the ground. It's right. Super cold against the concrete. Yeah, which you need that layer, which is which is, which is realistic, which is what you have to do with basically any sleep system. You know what I mean? And so this emergency blanket is going to be really good for your car, an inner layer of your sleeping bag to keep you a little extra cozy. You know, you have to be realistic about your gear. But I would have this in like everything. <laughs> um you know so i could fit me and my two children in it having those three bodies in it oh man i was toasty warm <laughs> and of course ember <laughs> don't roll how do you feel ember yeah just don't just don't roll <laughs> you feeling good are you warm Oh, I'm only gonna video. <laughs> Are you in there? <laughs> Hi! Does Archer want to go in? It's probably warmer than the concrete, yeah. but it's still warm. Yeah. Right, yeah. Woo! Okay, so we are gonna try to pack this back in the little bag that it came in but and as far as sound goes it says that it's it's supposed to be a little less noisy these survival blankets are always going to be a little bit noisy as you can hear you know it's just going to be kind of noisy that's just kind of how they are but this this is a little bit um reduced in noise just ever so slightly uh as you can see husband's trying to fold it back we're gonna go get the little bag and see if we can put it back in so it is very wet, but, and you know, we're gonna let it dry. But first, I just wanna see if we can actually get it back in. Well, I gotta, I gotta make <laughs> one more fold, fold. It, fold it one more time. 
This is always the most exciting part of putting Wait, any put it, putting anything back. What? <laughs> of figuring out how the heck it's gonna fit. The... All right. I think that's as compact as I can get it right now. <laughs> get some of the water out of my hell. <laughs> yeah, you definitely want to let them dry. Here you go. There you go. All right. You. You've got it. Both of your hands fit good. Okay. You. See we can... Okay, we're gonna let it dry, but you know it does look like it actually can, you know, get back. It can stuff back in once it gets dry. Look at that. It's it's going back in. <laughs> It's, it's going good. So I'm convinced that you can actually get this back in, which is pretty nice. Uh, there you go. Hey. If it was dry, it'd go a little bit easier. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Almost completely in. All right. So I'm going to put a link down below to where you can go find this for yourself. And I'm going to be doing a giveaway, uh, the 12 days of Christmas giveaway. I'm going to give you, be giving one of these away. But I'm really convinced. I'm convinced with this. I love the size. My husband fits in it. Me and both my children fit in it, which is a big plus. Um, it has that hood, um, and you know we were we were pretty toasty in there, at, you know, around 40 degrees, and we were dry because it was raining. So, um, yeah, check it out at the link down below. Get one for yourself for what it is for reusable and and everything that comes with it. It's a heck of a deal. So, uh, get it down below at the link. And uh, thank you all so much for watching. Conquer tomorrow by preparing today. Talk to y'all later, bye.